shot blocked, but here comes James. Scores! John James with the goal in the first minute. The Bears take a one nothing lead. That is exactly what you want as the road team coming into a loud building. Pat, thank you for joining us. First of all, let's go back to last season. Uh, it was a great run all the way to Game 7 of the Bogart Cup Finals. What did you take away from that experience as a coach and a GM? Well, yeah, it was, uh, it was an impressive run for sure, something that we you know, built up two years to try to do. Um, you know, right to Game 7, obviously. Disappointed for our community, disappointed for our team. We couldn't finish it off, but you know, it was a hell of a run and, and, and a lot of experiences that we'll remember for a very long time. I think a lot of folks thought this might be a down year for the Bears because of last season's success and the turnover in players from year to year. How have you and the players managed to keep this team competitive here at the top of the standings again this year? You know, I, I think last year's group that we graduated along really paved the way for the Bears to become a destination, not only in the CCHL, but in, in junior hockey in Canada. So, you know, we've certainly had some additions and players that wanted to be part of the program and, and a good crew of returning kids um, that, you know, really feel that sense of trying to finish something we started last year. You made some interesting additions to the team at the deadline this year with guys like Owen Watson and Lucas Colhane. Both can score points. What do you like about their game so far with the Bears? You know, with Owen, obviously, there's there's history with, with the Bears and, and him, and, and he was a, you know, an opportunity to bring a local boy home and a, and a player we've had success with going to the finals last year. Um, and so that was an opportunity we couldn't pass up. And, and with Lucas, you know, sort of admiring from afar him being the captain of the Brockville Braves and, and getting an opportunity to watch him over the last couple of years, we just saw, you know, character in that player and the way that he plays the game and thought it could really help our club this year as an addition as we try to you know go deep in the playoffs again. We currently sit at the halfway point of the season uh, and the Bears are only a few points in our first in the league. What do you like about this team and what do you think you need to improve on moving forward into the playoffs? I, you know this group's resilient. I, I don't think we've seen the best of them yet which is what's intriguing about them is I, I think there's a lot of trajectory that, that we can reach with this group. Um, and, and you know they're not satisfied. I think that might be the biggest thing that jumps out. And in terms of things we're working on, we're just trying to get better every day as a group at, at defending properly and, and hard every night and, and different ways to generate goals and, and special teams. I, I think that we're, we're never satisfied with one area of our game. We're just trying to get better at each and every day at everything that we do. A lot of parity in the league this year. What's the message to the Bears fans moving forward? It's going to be exciting, um, you know, the push to the playoffs. It's, it's a really tight league this year. Um, and I, I don't think there's any, um, there's no games that aren't important. So, you know, if, if people are looking for some entertainment, there's, there's lots of value coming out on a Friday night to a home game or a Sunday afternoon to a home game and, and seeing us try to push to, to get a great playoff seed.